Hi, welcome to Music Toolbox. This is a Thursday quick tip. So all of us have used YouTube videos in our courses uh, from time to time, and all of us have been in a situation where we need the students to start listening to something specific at a specific time in the video. And I don't know how many times I've done this, but especially in the past, like an older course, I put this course together a few years ago, we actually tell them when to start listening. So we want them to listen to the plagal cadence, the big old plagal cadence at the end of And the Glory of the Lord from Handel's Messiah. And it starts at two minutes and 38 seconds. So we tell them to listen to it and listen for the cadence specifically at two minutes and 38 seconds. Now, knowing my students, as I do, they will certainly not make it through that whole, the whole piece. Um, and they'll fast forward to two minutes and 38 seconds, or they'll just sort of drift off and not hear the thing we need um, them to hear specifically. So a new feature in YouTube allows you, when you pull the embed code, or when you pull the URL from a video, to specify where you want that clip to start. Okay, so here is the same clip in YouTube, and we are going to share it. Um, and when you hit the shared button, you get three options. You can share the video as a URL, so you could have your students go right to it. You can embed the video, or you can email the video. Now on this first part, share video, what you do is right at the start at time, you put the time you want them to start. So we wanted it at two minutes and 38 seconds, right at the plago cadence. And you hit enter. And you see how it adds this extra bit. Um, the T is timing equals two minutes, 38 seconds. And so if I shared this link directly, it would open So it opened just exactly where we wanted it to open.